And we begin with a new affordable housing development that could be coming to the heart of Honolulu at the old Meadow Gold facility. But of course, questions remain about how long it would remain affordable. Sam Spangler with more tonight in a story that's new at 10. Two over 300 foot towers making up 900 residences are proposed to be built here at the old Meadow Gold facility in KAL Moku. Now, of those units, about 450 are supposed to be affordable. But the neighborhood board chair tells me that those affordable units are only designated that way for 10 years. The need for affordable housing has been a large topic of conversation here in the islands and through election campaigns. The Elm Street Development's units are mixed use. At least 450 of them are to be made affordable, which is 140% of area median income. The rest are market rate. Affordable housing is really key, and it's one of the keys to the future of our community. But Tam says this was pitched to the board at 10 years designated affordable, giving some residents concerns. When you get somebody in and get an affordable housing for that first unit, for that first condo owner, that benefits them. Um, and then they go on to, uh, they're able to sell it. And that, if it's not kept affordable, then that's certainly a problem. Then it just goes to market rate. Those concerns include infrastructure and traffic. We've been here for 110 years, and we're about to be straddled by four 400 foot tall uh, condominiums. And traffic is bad as it is. Uh, the water and sewage is bad as it is, as you can imagine, in a neighborhood this old. The company says they have reached out to the Board of Water Supply and Wastewater Branch and will study traffic. There are hopes that more business can move into the area, which community members hope will improve crime. We do need this area to be rejuvenated. Uh, it's a high crime area, a uh, high vagrancy area. But certainly uh, getting more mixed use, uh, getting more shops and more eyes on the ground will, will definitely help. We reached out to the engineering company tonight, but I've yet to hear back. Now, if approved, this project is slated to break ground in 2024 and be completed in 2026. Sam Spangler, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.